Hello, this is Chrissy from Supernova Media, and today I'd like to take a quick few moments to show you how to use Firebug to um, search for elements and kind of do a live edit on a web page just to see how the different styling will change. Um, I'm going to just pop over to a demo site, and I'm in a Firefox browser, and I do have Firebug already installed, and I'm just going to click on F12 to open it up and it brings up our panel down here now you'll notice things go all funny um, as you mouse over different elements down here in the style you will see that it highlights where that element is or you can click on the selector tool and select a certain element of your page like for example up here this is the hitter area this is the navigation and it also, as I mouse over the elements up here, you'll see the little blue highlighted box around that. And it also shows that same element down here. So I'm just going to scroll down the page and see if I can grab um, the whole inner wrap there. Now, over here, this tells me the, this is kind of like your map and this is kind of like your legend. This will tell you what, what items affect what. Like this is the width of your body content here. If I was to change that, and just click on it, and just tell it to go to 1060, you'll see the whole body area got wider. I'm just going to edit that back. 960. And you can just play with it and experiment and see what items are where, see how different styling elements are placed and what affects them. Um, I think it's a really um, powerful tool. Uh, over the past two, three years, this is how I've learned to identify what elements are where in a, in a style sheet. and. Uh, and what ele elements affect, affect what? I'm sorry for stumbling over my words. I'm I'm not too great at make at uh, at speaking with people. Public speaking is is uh, not on my top of the list. So anyway, um, enough about me. Um, let's see if we can edit uh, the styling in a sidebar here. If I can identify, if I can just kind of catch the area. Let's see, I want the whole sidebar. Sometimes it's, it's, it's finicky to do that. There we go. We've got the whole sidebar. Okay. Now, you'll see that it's uh, float right, so it's displayed on the right-hand side. And we have padding, and this is the width of the sidebar. And you see this little red circle? If I wanted to disable um, an element, I'd click on that. And now there's no width setting for our sidebar, so it goes wherever. I'm just going to reset that back on. And this is the styling for that sidebar area. And it inherits the styling of the text from the body. And as you mouse over a color element, it will show you um, that when you mouse over the the hex code, I should say, it will show you gray. Um, and if I could find, just come back here, I'll reselect that, and I'll select my widget title area, and this is not only when you mouse over the color, when you mouse over an image, it will show you a little thumbnail of that image and its width and height, which is very, um, it's an easy way to find different elements in your page and now I know I can go back to my theme file and I could pull that image out, the image that says headline-sidebar, I could pull that image out, edit it, um, edit the color and put it right back in and I would have a new color of my element. Now, if I wanted to turn off the background, 
my background disappears and I turn it back on. Okay, something else I'd like to show you is um, along here, you can click on CSS and what that does is down here in your Firebug panel, it shows you um, your cascading style sheet. And as you scroll down through the elements, you can learn what is what goes where um, and how different things are, are styled in um, your theme package. Now every theme, I shouldn't say every theme, but um, different themes will be kind of organized a little bit different. I've gotten used to Genesis and I really love the way it's laid out and when I look at another style sheet from another theme, um, my eyes just cross sometimes because it, I'm just gotten myself so used to using Genesis and I'm just, I just love it. Anyway, I just want to show you um, a few little things. Um, you can edit in this panel too and I just want to find, uh, here's one, the body background. If I was to click that, the whole background is disabled and gone. And you can see here that the background image, which is just uh, a, just a, a grayish blue um, image of, that's named BG, and it's stored in the image folder under your themes. And if you okay. Let's change this color over here to, um, see if I can remember a, a hex code here, change that to green. And the background image is still there. And you think, I know what's going on. I changed that color. But you can tell your background image is up here. So I'm just going to get in here again. And I'm just going to take that out. I'm just going to hit delete. And there we go. And boy, you can see how you can really experiment with um, uh, a web page. Now, my changes aren't saved. Um, this is just making, you know, a live edit just to, just to show you what it would, would look like if you went to your style sheet, downloaded it from your website via FTP, and uh, and made the edits to it and then re-uploaded it to your site. Now I'm going to have some information in the blog about the correct procedure to follow to make sure you always keep your copy of your master style sheet in case you bugger things up basically and uh, and you need to revert back at least you have a it's easy to delete the the one file and to rename the other file back so that uh, you have that backup copy there. I know this is just as interesting as watching paint dry, but if you're like me and if you're in the code, well, it's, it's pretty darn fascinating. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to let you experiment with Firebug, um, have some fun with it, uh, go to Firebug's website and uh, get some more helpful hints and tricks, and uh, learn a little bit. And uh, code is, is not it's not scary. Once you get the hang of it, um, you'll be very surprised with what you can do. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop us a line, um, either comment or on our blog, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks, and you folks have a good day. Bye.